If someone's listening out there, Justin, I mean, they, you know, I've been in functional medicine for 15 years, you know, looked at a lot of labs, you know, done a lot of genetic testing, food intolerances, amino acid testing, you know, essential fatty acid testing. I mean, it's crucially important to look at this. And I mean, I'm a believer in it. We offer it to our clients, but it, there's no huge sort of, you know, uptake in getting all these assessments. People don't know what to do. It seems sort of very esoteric. You know, tell tell the audience, like, if you're suffering with chronic headaches, you should look at these things. Or what symptoms can people sort of relate to? They're not going away that they should look at this sort of non-native electromagnetic radiation. Yeah, well, first off, let me break this down for you. If your body's decharged from EMF, you're you're not as likely to heal, if at all, or very quickly. So we got to get your polarity back. Our body has acts like a body battery, and the body battery gets a negative charge from the Earth's resonance. We pull the electrons from it, gets a positive charge from the sun, and then we breathe in the microbiome, the, the minerals, and then hopefully we get some from our food as well. But that's how our body battery works. When you put shoes on, you live in an electrical box you know, of, of offices or homes or driving electric cars or solar on your home wearing smart devices, having routers all around you and on you, it's going to decharge your body. And Dr. Martin Paul talks about this. The voltage-gated calcium channels open up, lets positive calcium into a negative cell. That in turn, Steve, causes tremendous cell and DNA damage. So it's a secondary effect on the body. What I've seen clinically working with these athletes for so long is your eyes, your teeth, your thymus, which is your electrical system for your whole body, and your large intestine are the four areas that will first get decharged. So uh, I'll get into this in a little bit. You can tap on these bags, cover each of those areas one at a time, direct the properties of the crystals to it to recharge your body battery. It's applied kinesiology technique. But once you're recharged, you clear your biofield, you're going to be more resilient against all the other symptoms. And then now let me get into level one, two, and three of what are known to be EMF challenges. Cognitive is the first one. Just what you're saying, focus, memory, anxiety, fatigue, behavioral challenges, lack of sleep. Those are textbook EMF challenges that you're going to see throughout the day. Level two, Steve, would be more of a severe symptoms of headaches, ringing in the ears, bloody noses, muscle, muscle twitches or tremors. You can go into the what we saw in the Havana cohort, the first attack of U.S. embassy workers on foreign soil with microwave radiation of a non-trauma concussion symptoms, nausea, fatigue, anxiety, you know, vomiting uh, and the list goes on and on with that one. And then you go, the rashes on your skin, all that. And then you go into the bigs, cancer, suicide, diabetes, Alzheimer's disease, and cardiovascular disease. And the biggest one right now uh, is the lack of fertility. And I think people have seen all those bigs increase since we introduced electricity in their homes and started putting shoes on our feet. Good now. 